the Atlantic salmon, the fish of a thousand casts, also the fish of a thousand dives. Many divers have never seen one, and those who have have seen them only briefly from very far away. For many years, I searched for a solution. The answer was to go in the winter and to go at night. Diving the river at night is vastly different from diving the ocean at night. The ocean is a crackling array of noise from all the creatures of the sea, while the river is a quiet, empty place, devoid of any sound. And you cruise along, very patiently looking for movement. And before long, we get it. He's much like the daytime. However, before long, we have successes. The first thing you'll notice about salmon at night is they do not like diving lights. Every single one of them is going to close the gap, come in, and attack your light. If you dive with salmon at night, be prepared to take a hit, or two, or several. Many like this will even take a long pause before going in for the strike. However, don't lose faith, because if you're lucky, the salmon will come back. And when he comes back the second time, he's a lot more complacent and relaxed, and he'll come in for a nice, good look. The Atlantic salmon is not native to the Sinclair River. Originally only native to Lake Ontario, it was introduced by the DNR to the rest of the Great Lakes in 1972. You can distinguish a captive-born DNR-released salmon by the absence of the adipose fin between the dorsal and the tail. This particular fish is a stocked one. Most Atlantics I see are female. Bucks appear to be hesitant to approach my lights. The average Atlantic salmon is in roughly the 20 to 30 inch range. It's quite remarkable how their colors seem to shift between silver and brown depending on the lighting. Atlantic salmon live anywhere between five and seven years in the Great Lakes. Every time I've seen Atlantic salmon, it's always in the vicinity of bait fish, whether it be shiners, smelt, or others. They live a very migratory life, seemingly intertwined with these schools of small fish. After an extended period of time with the fish being comfortable with you, it will change its mind once again and start closing in on your light, as if in a trance. I'm not moving towards her, she's moving towards me. And the light seems to be the sole point of interest. At this point, they might try to attack you again or snap out of it and move off. Sometimes they're so comfortable with you that you can even pet them, something that's absolutely unthinkable in daytime. Before long, the fish truly has had enough and clears off. Until next time. Atlantic salmon can be seen very rarely throughout the summer months. They can almost guaranteed to be seen at night in the months of November, December, and January. They seem to prefer water temperatures between 45 and 37 degrees and can be found both north and south of the Black River. They seem to prefer shallow water. Nearly all sightings are less than 20 feet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this rarely seen look at the Atlantic salmon. If you liked it, please put a like or a comment and tell us what fish you want to see done next. Have a good one. Stay safe. Dive often.